Hey, what's going on guys? Black Decent. And I wanted to do a follow-up, kind of a tabletop of the DTNVS night vision goggles. And I got these, I guess, first of the year. I've had them probably six or seven months or whatever. And when I first done a video or really talked about them, I hadn't used them at all. I just got them. It was like an unboxing. So after spending a little time with them, I figured I'd do a follow-up video with you guys and just kind of give you a little bit of my, what my thoughts are on them and how I feel about them since I've been using them for a few months. And <clears throat> when I first started getting into night vision, I started with a PBS 14 and then I moved on to RMBGs and I was really hooked on the binocular system because I, I didn't really love the monocular, spending a little time behind it, especially in the woods at my old place. It was super dark and it, it was really, it was really tough for me personally. I, it just, it, it, it posed its own limitations to me. And so I moved into the RMBGs and Green Fox as well, Gen 3, which is what my PBS 14 was. So, and it was pretty cool too. But then I wanted articulation, and I also wanted to try white phosphor, and then that's where we ended up here. And when I first got into night vision, I never thought I would have a set of these. You know, I, I really didn't because I, I felt like they were unobtainable, really, to be honest with you. But through a lot of hard work and a lot of blessings, I've been able to acquire these, and I've had them for a few months. And they have uh, L3 Harris unfilmed white phosphor tubes in here and they are pretty pretty nice i must say uh it's, it's the higher end of the night vision stuff as far as all that goes and um obviously you got different levels of, of tubes and manufacturers and filmed and thin filmed and unfilmed and, and blah 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 but so i pretty much kind of nerded out on it all and my brother showed me night vision originally with a green PBS 14 and after that I was hooked so I just started maneuvering through or just wading through it all and and trying to learn as much as I could and and kind of just get up to speed on all this stuff and I've learned a lot in a short amount of time and uh, this is my third device in a short amount of time as well and I just wanted to kind of show you guys it and when I wanted articulation because the RMBGs when they were stowed they were hitting everything and especially if you're in and around vehicles or going through the woods or anything like that if you had them stowed or even inside a house I just found it to be uh, very clumsy for me and they are tough they're built like a tank but they you know you, you're going to beat the hell out of them or well, at least I did and or at least I felt like I did, but I wanted articulation, especially for in the vehicle driving or anything like that. Because if I wanted to flip them up instead of them banging off the roof the whole time, like what the RMBGs would be with articulation, you get you can still stow them up like this and just fold them back, and that's still a lot lower profile than say RMBGs, which would be sticking up like this. And yeah, that was kind of a little bit aggravating for me, honestly, after a little bit of time with them. But I'd really like to be able to stow the articulating ones up like this. You just roll them up out of your line of sight. You can roll one down. And these things will power off the pods individually when you roll them up. So if I turn the switch on, I can roll one down and use my left eye only or my right eye only. Or I can, you know, use both eyes, obviously but you can still get that monocular effect if you want to with these. So I thought that was pretty cool. But this is my preferred way of stowing them if I'm not gonna be using them. It's easier on your neck as well. And it it keeps a lower profile as far as your overhead clearance goes. You know, it's just right here off the front. So that's really cool. And that's really, there is a certain level of functionality that comes from that. It doesn't just look cool, you know, or whatever. It does look cool, but it does, that's not the reason why. The reason why is the functionality of it. And once you get a chance to fool with some of them, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to fully comprehend that, you know, if you haven't already. But it does cost more money, obviously. But And I'm looking at, honestly, possibly 
the katanas they look pretty good to me as well but this is what i have now and i just want to show you guys this i'm going to try to get some shots through the tubes for you guys well actually some video footage and i'll do my best i don't have any recording device or anything like that like a lot of people do but i will try to get some 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 footage through the tubes for you guys to try to give you a, at least a close perception of what it's like with this particular setup and <clears throat> they will articulate a whole lot actually almost like a you know a dang on seagull is what i would compare it to just in my mind but really cool they really high quality from what i understand they're durable i hadn't like been banging them around or nothing on purpose because i you know i can't just go to supply and get a new set or anything i gotta I got to deal with that on my own and on my own dime. So I try to take care of all my stuff, especially when I spend a good bit of money on it. But I really just wanted to get you guys an up close look at them. And they're powered by a single CR123 battery here. And you got a PBS14 style switch here. For, you know, your power switch. You got off on and hour on. So you pull it and twist it one more time. And it'll turn the hour illuminator on, which is the built-in one right here which is all right i guess you know i don't really find myself needing it but if you were in a real dark room or something and you just wanted that you it is built in so you do have that option on these and they don't have inner uh well ipd stops i'm not even gonna try to say that but they don't have ipd stops built in but there are some that you can buy that like attaches here on this back plate and what that does is it just, you screw these little wheels out and turn these little wheels and these little uh, tabs will stick out here and stop the goggles or the pods wherever you have preset your determined distance between your eyes to be. I don't find it necessary in my use, but they do have an option for that, but it's several hundred dollars. I mean, you know, which, you know, I guess in the end of it, was several hundred dollars but when you you know spending a lot of money on night vision but for me i i don't i don't really see the need for them but i know that that is an option that's available as an aftermarket or you can order them with it depending on where you get them i got this particular unit from steel industries and i got them when they were doing some kind of sale and saved a little bit of money on them but pretty cool stuff this is definitely the the uh highest end device i've ever had and it probably is the highest end one i'll ever have to be honest with you but there there's a whole lot of capable systems out there that that don't cost as much as this even as far as even a you know gen 2 plus you know photonis echo tubes they make some good stuff from what i've seen and i i'd love to get get my eyes behind a set of those or or whatever in the future but I, i've never i've never had to pleasure of experiencing them firsthand but from what i understand they make some good stuff too on the lower end of the price spectrum and they also a lot of their stuff is that's going to be white phosphor too so that's pretty cool if you wanted to go white phosphor and save some money the photonis echo stuff is pretty good to go from what i understand but it is gen 2 plus whereas this is gen 3 so you may notice a little bit of a performance difference especially in super low light conditions you know like if you're in the woods a lot or something you'll probably you'll probably notice a decrease in performance over something like this, which this is pretty much the, um, you know, this is pretty much on the higher end, being that they're unfilmed tubes by L3 Harris and, and White Phosphor. So, but like I say, I don't, I hadn't used a whole lot of stuff and I hadn't used it for a job or anything really cool, but I've been around the woods and stuff like that and drove with them and stuff and, and I definitely prefer the white phosphor over the green for sure. That, that much is clear to me. And I also learned real quick that I definitely prefer a binocular over a monocular system. But to each, you know, everybody's mileage may vary on that. And I just wanted to show you guys what they look like up close and all that good stuff. And there's a good bit of friction as far as your articulation and when you get them set for your IPD you know, the distance between your eyes, they'll, they'll pretty much stay there. I hadn't had any issues with them moving around or anything. Now, if you bump them on something, then obviously they're going to move. But 
Um, I hadn't had any issues with them staying put where I put them. So, and so you can focus on the rear and on the front. You know, you get your rough focus out here and then you can fine tune basically like your prescription for your individual eyes is what you will uh, calculate here on these rear dials and just kind of fine tune the focus on there. So that's pretty much all I got. I don't have all the technical specs for you guys. I'm sure there's videos of guys talking about all that stuff, but that's not my video. I'm not that guy. I'm just a guy that's telling you how I feel about them after running around with them a little bit for, you know, six or seven months. And so that's pretty much why I'm making this video for you guys. But really cool system. Super, super nice. I mean, I just, I can't say, like I say, I'm, I'm still blown away that I, that I even got some. So, but really cool and really enjoyable for sure. And I just wanted to show you guys. I know before I got them and when I thought I'd never have them, I enjoyed drooling over the videos and watching and stuff and just kind of daydreaming about them. So I figured I'd make another video for you guys and for me as well. That way you can check them out. So that's what they are, though. I appreciate it, guys. I'll try to get a part two up and get some get some video through the tubes for you guys and let you see what it looks like firsthand. That's all I got for you. I appreciate you guys. I'm out.